since my father was a math teacher so my i was good not you know by genetically i think i was good in mathematics so i went for engineering cleared iit but i never thought uh, that uh, you know i want to become an engineer but i did it then joined uh, some job uh, but then I, then it, after joining the job i started thinking okay this is not something what i want to do i want to be in public service but it was already too late i was already a graduate working there is the responsibility of a family all those things so that is why uh, but eventually uh, of course i made it but uh, it's very difficult sometimes you know when you are already uh, working because once you become independent you don't want to go back to your parents asking for money right so that is why it's very important to make the right choice when you are at school so that you decide the right graduation for you because i i i feel graduation is very very important you should do graduation in whatever career you want to make in the future so that should be relevant not everyone should do engineering not everyone should do bcom or pa you know it should be relevant to what you want for example he wants to uh, do fine arts so he sh- i mean the right thing for him should be a uh, bachelor's degree in fine arts you know master's degree in fine arts or something related to creative arts right so similarly it can be anything people are interested in sports how many people are interested in uh, let's say football raise up your hands everyone football only two three and why only boys girls yeah. act uh, we conducted uh, the football uh, i mean women's football uh, uh, contest also and uh, more than 30 teams participated so i was very happy and uh, very good standard and some of them will eventually play at the state level and hopefully at the national level so now football as a field is growing in india because of the uh, coming of isl and uh, various things any professional sport for that matter not i'm not just talking about football badminton is there you know you see now leagues are happening in everywhere and then you know they are sponsored and there are professional uh, players and academies are coming up so if academies are coming up players uh, of course as a player you can make a career but as a coach also you can make a career uh, as a strategist as a game analyst as a commentator as a referee so, so many things are there it's not just you know playing <coughs> because if somebody likes football it, you can be associated with it in various capacities not just as a player because player the age is limited right you will play from 20s to 30s once you cross 30 you cannot play professional uh, you know football for long i mean as long as you're fit uh, but if you're interested in the field there are various uh, capacities you can work so you can make career in football as well you can make career in badminton as well so there are so many things if somebody is interested in uh, food now i'll give you an example from our own uh, tura now uh, where this mini bazaar you must have seen in various places where we organize programs we call them they are local entrepreneurs they are selling their uh, food careers so i see so many youth uh, especially girls and women they are pursuing this and uh, they are doing really well uh, so career in food it can be anything uh, we uh, unfortunately in garo hills it was you know 50% 60% of most of the things we consume uh, or even less for example fish is so whatever the demand for fish is there in, the, in our district we only are close to 50 60% of rivers ponds such as high rainfall but still we are getting fishes from andhra pradesh why because our you know there are less people uh, doing fish uh, fishery culture horticulture anything you talk about everything is coming from outside so we want to change that by 2027 we have made a plan already we have uh, told all the line departments we want to produce everything here and it's possible people think that uh, you know we'll graduate and we'll apply for dsc we have to uh, apply for mpsc and that's it now you should understand the numbers right how many of you are graduating let's say uh, west garo hills almost full while using internet that is uh, one advice now uh, let's just hear it from you that you know how many of you have decided what you want to become so let's just uh, you know if you have decided what you want to become then i can and uh, the other you know social media people get addic- addicted to it so that has to be you have to control you have to use it in a controlled way if you use it in the right way internet is is the amazing thing which you know is the most empowering thing 
but if you use it in, you know you have everything so how easy it is but at the same time internet has uh, you know internet has posed many challenges also if there are positive things there are negative things also so you have to con- you know consciously stay away from all this distractions internet was not uh, that much easily accessible but now you have everything in your fingertips you know even even all the kinds of coaching classes are freely available in on youtube and uh, all content career counseling uh, before you cross class 12 I think you have enough time to decide which side you go because it's very important to select the right direction because if you start drifting towards the wrong then it's very difficult to come back right so start thinking the purpose of this to happiness that is the key uh, to doing well in life and to become you know efficient so so all this i'm saying because uh, this is the right time you are some of you are in 10 some 7 8 so this is the right age you still have that okay government job government job thing start thinking about entrepreneurship also and how you know you can convert uh, your dreams into entrepreneurship so uh, that is uh, what i tell all the you know youth that uh, convert your passion to employment you will give to 20 more people because you will run a company or run a small unit you know so you are need to employ uh, more people helpers assistant cleaners you know sellers so many things so that is the best uh, uh, enthusiastic about it so we try to help him and now of course he got selected in the prime hub and then he is uh, making uh, now he has i think more than 10 machines at that time he uh, got only one machine so how we have wonderful programs like uh, i don't know if you know if you have prime hub uh, the prime hub initiative of government of meghalaya plus yes uh, scheme is there Uh, to promote entrepreneurs, PMEGP scheme, lot of schemes are there for entrepreneurs. And uh, so, what the what is the answer? The answer is entrepreneurship. We because we don't have industries, unfortunately, in Meghalaya we don't have industry, we don't have service industry. So the only uh, option for employment, uh, which can be uh, MPSC. Let's take an example of MPSC. So recently advertised uh, some thirty something posts are there. you know in dsc always it's like that 10 20 posts are there uh, on a annual basis so you see the ratio right it's not possible for everyone you get yes you should from today thank you so much sir for your wonderful interaction with your students it was indeed an ambitious motivational and no doubt inspirational speech I'm sure the students must have noted down your valuable suggestions. Thank you so much, sir. Now I call upon the secretary to give his vote of thanks. Good morning, one. All present here and respected Sir Deputy Commissioner Sri Swapnil Thimbe, our and the MCS not comes, headmasters, officers, teachers, all my dear students. I take this uh, opportunity to thank on behalf of our school to extend my heart. I pledge gratitude to the chief staff persons for today program IST Sapil Thumbe DC West Karo Hills Meghalaya for guiding our students in taking a right choice in their career. I thank our headmaster Sa for being there with us and make that even happen. I also thank all my dedicated teachers. who were behind the scene to the help through and to making program yeah, as a success not but i not at least i also thank my dear students for paying attention attention and participating in the program thank you once again have a good day thank you all 
थैंक यू